All right, I'm, I'm getting lots of uh, fictitious questions about uh, being a predator. It seems uh, hard to acknowledge that we are predators, but that's what it is. Um, if you believe in the history of humanity that we have plenty of um, proof for, we did uh, evolve to be the top predators on the planet. Uh, we became more and more sophisticated until we had the ability to take down almost all beasts. Although sometimes um, that was a great risk for ourselves. Uh, this the army boat going by and it's gonna make a wave because they are doing some maneuvering, which I don't know if it's for fun or for military training. So I'm gonna put my flip-flops up. Sorry about the discretion. Yep, here come the waves. So, and then uh, we settled down about 5,000 years ago, 6,000 years ago, into civilizations with agriculture, written language, tools, uh, cities and so on. We stopped being nomadic. But then we never be, truly became civilized. Uh, yes, we built the civilizations. That would have washed my flip-flops. We did uh, build the civilizations, but we didn't civilize ourselves. We couldn't. We had evolved to be predators for at least, uh, whatever, 100,000 years, 50,000 years, uh, tens of thousands of years, or hundreds of thousands of years, we have been beating up things, creatures, on the head or anywhere else, first with sticks and then throwing uh, spears and stones and uh, arrows and... Uh, and, and by the time we settled down in cities with metallurgy and the like, we were rather sophisticated. We could take down mammoths. We were taking down mammoths and tens of thousands of years ago. So how can we deny that past? That's what, who we are. That's who we evolved to be. That's the tribe we have. We have to try to hit things on the head. And we call them things, we feel they are things because we evolved during such a long time where they were so abundant and we were so few that it was okay to do that. We were constantly cooling species and helping their evolution. So we are the top predator on the planet. We evolved as such and there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong, it's not a failure, on the contrary. It's a beautiful evolution, it's a beautiful function, is that they became archaic and unnecessary. Once we civilized, remember we supposedly civilized and then we became millions and billions and now we are going to be 8 billion people, 10 billion people. We cannot continue with this predatory mind. How many people really need to hunt and fish? The ones who need, because they don't have any alternative and they're in an environment where there's plenty and it gets replenished with the proper asking for permission and giving thanks, they might be able to do it. But how many of us really need to do that? Why, why are we even animals when we live in cities? We are civilized. Why are there pig farms and chicken farms and slaughterhouses that we wouldn't ever work in, the great majority of us, that we wouldn't ever tolerate to see every day, but we allow it to be for our own satisfaction? Who need, really needs to cut down a tree? If you use firewood for fire, there should be plenty of down trees or there's too many people where you are if you're cutting down trees that to get fire with trees not, shouldn't be cut to be burned. 
There may be rare circumstances where a tree has to be cut down, but then you have to show that to your community and to yourself and to the universe. Is the tree leaning on your house? Was your house first or the tree first? If you get to the point where you had to cut down a tree, replace it. How? Very simple. Replace the tree. You cut down a 10 meter tree, plant 10 1 meter trees. This is still a lot less volume of tree, but ultimately it will replace it. Or plant 100 10 centimeter trees. Yeah, hard work. Well, fuck, you're cutting down a tree, bitch. You don't have a space to plant 10 trees. There are plenty of places where you can go and plant trees. Find out, do it. We should have a huge regulation of chainsaws. They should be super expensive, super heavily taxed and regulated. You should have a, need a permit that renews every year. And you have to pay for it. Okay, you can use a chainsaw to cut uh, into pieces a tree that has fallen on a season. I've done that at some point, but this, these are all very particular situations. For most of us, the, the choice is clear. We had to stop being predators in the way we act, in the way we behave. And being predator is not only about what we eat, it's the way we live. How big is our house? For the people on the top percentages of income, do you need that much house? Why are you just building it because you can afford it? When it comes to personal relationships, are you being predatory? Are you using power you have to obtain favors? It's incre in in incredible still how much sexual abuse there is because it is abuse when somebody is exerting power to get a sexual favor. Stop being predatory. And then move on to be a protector. You not only are cutting down, not, not cutting down trees, but you're protecting trees. You're checking for their health. You're finding out if there is any plague that is affecting the trees, anything you can do for the trees. Even if you're not cutting down trees, just plant trees. You're protecting the trees in general and making up for the ones who cut down trees. Plant trees. How beautiful to plant trees and see them grow. Remember, I. My parents planted a cedar tree shortly after I was born and it grew to be a tremendous, humongous tree. And then the, the friends who bought the house of, um, when I was an adult, they, one of the first things they did was to cut down the tree and we had gone over that. Become a protector. Of course, you protect your loved ones. Why do you stop there? Why don't you protect all members of communities, of all the communities you belong to, from your town to your religious group to your sports fans, protecting all. And why you stop at humanity? Why don't you protect all beings? Beware of your actions and what provoke them. We are so unaware of where we really come from, and we had to see that. And not only protect, create, like co-create, like when you plant trees, you're creating now. You're creating more tree mass with nature and with the universe. It's a joint effort. Co-create food by gardening, Farming, co-create food by cooking, ennobling the cooking, the beauty of making food, tasty food. Co-create by making shelter, shelter that is balanced. Co-create by making crafts, co-create in, in your job, make it a creative job, find something that creates 
or protect the land had to do it. We are the top predator, predator on the planet. We still continue to behave in our predatory ways. We must stop being predatory. We must become protectors. We must become co-creators. <laughs>